On July 19, 2024, the world held its breath as a routine update from a cybersecurity giant called CrowdStrike unexpectedly unleashed chaos across the globe. What began as a simple sensor configuration update for Windows systems quickly spiraled into a nightmare scenario straight from a movie, bringing critical infrastructure to its knees. At 4.09 UTC, CrowdStrike pushed out an update to its widely used Falcon platform, a platform that basically powers a lot of systems around us that we never heard of or knew about, unknowingly introducing a logic error that would trigger system crashes around the world and show this blue screen of death on millions of computers worldwide, including those of the baggage claim areas where you see this screen that tells you this flight number is in this baggage claim number, even those systems were down. This digital disaster, while not a cyber attack, exposed the fragility of our interconnected world and the far-reaching consequences of one single misstep in the complex realm of cybersecurity. In a matter of hours, this error grounded over 1,500 flights worldwide, through the operations of countless hospitals into disarray. This is a huge win for Apple, to be honest. The ripple effect of this single day catastrophe will be written in history books forever. CrowdStrike's flagship product, Falcon, is a linchpin for over 500 Fortune 1000 companies. Falcon integrates deeply with operating systems using kernel mode drivers to detect threats in real time. Unfortunately, this deep integration means that when Falcon fails, the entire system can fail. A really random fact was that I went to order a Starbucks coffee using the app and their system was down because of this issue. And it really dawned on me like one single mistake of code can not only ruin all these airports and banks and hospitals, but even the Starbucks ordering system, which goes to show you how dependent we are on a software that we've never heard of before. It looks like there's so many tech companies, but truth be told, it is a monopoly. Falcon's sensor works by embedding itself deeply within an operating system, collecting very specific data and scanning for threats and issues. And this level of integration is super powerful, but as we know now, very dangerous. This bad update triggered a horrible failure, forcing each affected computer into fail mode and requiring manual removal of the faulty driver. Of course, the consequences were severe. The London Stock Exchange faced disruptions, Indian airports issued boarding passes by hand, and countless other systems were crippled. CrowdStrike quickly clarified that this was not a cyber attack, but a technical error, which kind of is better and worse at the same time. They provided a fix, but it required significant manual intervention. To resolve this issue, IT teams had to follow a detailed process to restore the affected systems. First, they backed up the data and then removed the problematic update. Then they reattached the corrected system to get everything running smoothly again. While it was a bit exhausting, this approach actually ensured that the systems were safely restored without drastic measures. So this issue basically required all these millions of computers to be manually fixed. They couldn't do anything. They couldn't do another update right away on the same day to fix it. What this crash teaches us is the importance of rigorous update testing, and it shows us how fragile our system is, but it also highlights the need for a greater diversification in our portfolio of, of systems that we use. We can't rely on just an infrastructure that will collapse when one thing goes wrong. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.